In other news, actor David Hyde Pierce created a major controversy at the Emmys last night when a trouser malfunction caused him to expose his testicles. Sure glad I didn't miss the Emmys, Diane. Oh, that's just great, Lois. Thanks to you, I missed a moment of television history. Well, now you know how George W. Bush felt when he showed up in Vietnam. All right, let's do this. Let's kick some ass. Uh, George, the war is over. What? Yeah, it's done. Get out of here. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, man, I just got your messages. And I, I, oh, oh, I'm sorry. G George, it's been over for a while. Really? Yeah, it's 1981. It's, uh, oh, oh, wow. Oh, so I'm way late. Oh, boy. Yeah. Uh, well, you want to do something else? I got some blow. Son of a bitch. Took you this long to tell me. Break it out, man. Gentlemen, we got 20 calls about the David Hyde Pierce incident. And as you know, one call equals a billion people, which means 20 billion people were offended by this. Needless to say, something must be done. Perhaps we should ask the chairman. Good idea. Uh, sir, we're wondering what course of action you recommend regarding the Hyde Pierce incident. You've got to censor television, you fools! Now follow my orders! <laughs> And now, stay tuned for Three's Company. Jack, are you out there? I want to show you my new bikini. What the hell? Why are they blocking out all the good stuff? It's the D Van D Show, starring D Van D They're messing with my shows. Come to think of it, there was something very different about that Honeymooners episode I watched today. One of these days, Alice, one of these days. I'm going to help stimulate the economy by buying an American car. This must be the FCC overreacting to the David Hyde Pierce incident. They're censoring anything that might be viewed as unpleasant. What the hell? They let Sarah Jessica Parker's face on TV and she looks like a foot. Well, mark my words, I'm gonna fight this. 